Not everybody has access to a Sharps container, and even if you do, what do you do with it when it's full? Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got into the situation. Let's talk about Sharps containers. This video is not for hospitals, it's not for businesses, it's not for doctor's offices. This video is for individuals only. A lot of people ask us, what am I supposed to do with needles? Some of you might be thinking, people shouldn't be using needles anyway. I've got one word for you, diabetes. For this project, we're gonna need duct tape, we're gonna need Sharpies, and we're gonna need a laundry detergent container. Black duct tape. That's not gonna work with a black Sharpie. Fixed it. So a laundry detergent bottle can act as a Sharps container. You take off the lid, you place it down, and the needles fit perfectly right inside there. When it's full, you'll put the cap back on, and this is where the duct tape comes into action. Once your DIY Sharps container is full, you're gonna to wanna to duct tape the lid to the bottle. Then, the fun part. You get to duct tape the entire bottle. You really don't need to use this much duct tape. Next, you take your Sharpie and you want to write sharps and do not recycle on both sides of the container. And last but not least, you can throw it in the household trash. All of this was verified by safeneedledisposal.org and the Roan County Department of Solid Waste. There's nothing left to watch. Facebook just requires you to upload a three minute video so that they will distribute it better. So there's absolutely nothing left to do. You can click on another video. You can go make some hot chocolate you can go wrap presents if you need to, but there's absolutely nothing left here to watch.